let's talk about something very, very current, coronavirus. I do think it is now a world threat because I looked at the Sunday newspaper and almost every page had something to say about it. They're saying it's, it's not good for elderly people. Not on that cruise ship, they're not elderly people. They are swingers. It's a swingers cruise ship? They are, Why do you think that? Everybody on that cruise ship was a swinger. <laughs> Why? Because they got sex drive and the alcohol. <laughs> what about the children? Their families. I think all the ones that were contaminated were the alcohol people and sex addicts. Have you been a swinger in your life? Uh, not like that. They were they were kind of fat and ugly, weren't they? <laughs> I, the cruise ship people? Yeah, didn't you see a picture of them in the Sunday I, newspaper? <laughs> no. They were fat and ugly. All of them? They were about 50 years old. That's 20, 50, 20 years younger than me, and they looked like they were fat and ugly. <laughs> but you could go on a cruise ship and not be a swinger. You know how much a cruise costs? About $30,000. No, <laughs> you can go, you can buy it much cheaper. How much cheaper? 7000 What is the best way to prevent? oneself from getting coronavirus. You clean clothes every day, staying away from alcohol and honky-tonk whorehouses. <laughs> What's the difference between a honky-tonk whorehouse and a regular whorehouse? I'll tell you, you get off the cruise ship, you go in the bar, and you're buying drinks, and you're dancing around, and you're asking the bartender, where can we go get laid? And that's how I think they got it and brought it back to the ship. Male or female. So everything that's come out with it says it's just uh, like a virus that if you like cough or the germs. No kidding? Is that the way it was? Because mm -hmm. the way I just said it was sex in a bar and 